I understand about postpartum depression. The interrogation of Coast Guard Petty Officer Kate Richard took place two months after her five-month-old baby girl Scarlett died in her crib inside a home she shared with her husband in Kodiak, Alaska. You're not going to like end up in prison you're or not, anything. You need help. You're not. You need help. You're not going anywhere. You're not going to jail today. You're not, nothing like that is going to happen. During an hour and a half interrogation. Coast Guard investigators repeatedly tell the 23-year-old mother they're there to help her. Listen to me. Listen to me. This is not something we think that you did on purpose. Mm -hmm. In fact, the Coast Guard investigative service was pursuing murder charges against the young mother. Richard explains to the agents the baby was fussy, she swaddled her tightly, and put her down in the crib with a pacifier in her mouth. I didn't think much of it when I put her down. And then when I found her and I was like, did I swaddle her wrong? Did I like do it too tight? But investigators want her to admit she smothered the baby by pushing her face into the mattress. Did you put your hand on the back of her head and neck and push her face into the mattress? <laughs> the mother had waived her right to an attorney during the questioning. Katie was trying to help them figure out, okay, what happened here? She was help, being as helpful as she could to the investigators because she wanted to know why her baby is dead. Her defense attorney, Billy Little, says an autopsy found the baby died of asphyxiation, a cause of death that can include SIDS. A military jury found her not guilty of first-degree murder charges. They went in looking for evidence of murder, thinking that she murdered her child, and the jury 100% rejected that because she didn't murder a child. But the eight-person jury did find her guilty of manslaughter, based in part on that interrogation video. After two years in federal prison on March 5th, an appeals court overturned the manslaughter verdict, ruling the charging papers did not specify negligence on the part of the mother. Richard still remains in custody at the Miramar Brig. She's in solitary confinement as a person who's only conviction has been overturned, rightfully so. The U.S. Coast Guard declined to comment on this ongoing case. They have 60 days to either file their own appeal or refile manslaughter charges against the mother. At MCAS Miramar, David Gothardson, CBS 8.